Hello and welcome to Kang News of Kang Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. A memorandum of understanding and meet to sponsor orphans due to COVID-19 by the City Women's Union. The Military Zone 9 Museum has cumulatively welcomed nearly 34,000 visitors since the beginning of the year. A preliminary review of administrative reform and digital transformation in the first quarter of 2024 of Ningyu District. Top news today. On May 5th, the City Women's Union coordinated with the City Women's Business Association to organize the signing of a memorandum of understanding and meet to sponsor orphans due to COVID-19. Significant contents such as organizing connections and assistance, obtaining sponsorship directly following the guidelines of the Godmother program, or providing resources to indirectly support child care and rearing through the local women's union or other substitute caregivers. The initiative will openly and transparently disclose its recipients and sources of support. Alongside the Godmother program, the City Women Business Association makes sure that the legal requirements are met and the desires of the families of orphans in challenging situations to receive sponsorship, care, support and assistance. As a result of the effects of COVID-19, the Women's Business Association is still working with the Kangta City Women's Union to support the Godmother program, which provides care and nurturing for 20 orphans until they turn 18. In April and the first days of May 2024, the Military Zone 9 Museum welcomed 46 delegations with 10,350 domestic and foreign visitors to visit, cumulatively since the beginning of the year, to welcome nearly 34,000 visitors. The museum is a place to store artifacts and primitive weapons made by our people and soldiers between 1945 and 1954 and between 1954 and 1975. This location features portraits of military Zona leaders and commanders who were instrumental in the resistance war, artifacts and images depicting the lives of soldiers and heroes of the armed forces and heroic Vietnamese mothers. The museum is currently hosting a theme exhibition, with more than 200 photos, records and relics, the meaningful victory, Vietnam's strength in the Ho Chi Minh era, seek to celebrate the 17th anniversary of the historic victory of the Binh Phu, May 7th. Ninh Kiều District People's Committee has just held a preliminary conference to review administrative reform and digital transformation in the first quarter of 2024. Agencies, district units and people's committees of wars are focused on the direction and management of administrative reform and digital transformation. They also want to strengthen the use of information technology in state administrative management activities and keep up and offer online public services to further the objective of administrative reform. Propaganda and information work on PAR has also drawn notice and is done in a variety of acceptable ways. The chairman of the Ningyu District People's Committee, Mr. Hun Dungju, underlined that heads of agencies and units must be given the right attention when carrying out administrative reform duties and must take urgent measures to digitize administrative procedures. One of the main concerns should be educating people about PAR work and emphasizing its correctness. Another is to use people happiness as a gauge for how well administrative reform efforts are working. From July 1, 2024, the Identity Law 2023 will take effect. The 2023 Identity Law has many new points, including the regulation that Vietnamese citizens under 14 years old will be issued ID cards according to their needs compared to the provision of the previous law. Those under the age of 14 or their legal representatives may ask the government to provide an identity card. People under 6 can obtain identification cards through the National Identification Application or Public Service Portal, which is handled by the legal representative. The legal representative will complete the steps in issuing an ID card through the National Identification Application, Public Service Portal, 
or identification management agency directly if the person under the age of six has not yet registered their birth. People under the age of six do not have their identification or biometric data collected by identity management authorities. Celebrating the 134th birthday of President Ho Chi Minh, the 93rd anniversary of the establishment of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union, and the 58th anniversary of the establishment of Kung Tho University, the university organized the Olympic of Political Theory and Ho Chi Minh Ideology for Students in 2024. The online exam for individuals was available from March 24, 2024 to April 20, 2024. For the collective exam, the online qualifying round began on May 5th and the live final round will take place on May 19. Candidates must possess knowledge of the following subjects. Ho Chi Minh thought, the Communist Party of Vietnam's revolutionary path, the labor movement of both domestically and internationally, patriotic movements, famous people, scientists, and great scientific achievements in human history. Directive 05, Conclusion 01, and history, traditions, national culture, and the Communist Party of Vietnam. The Cần Thơ Bình Minh Town Ferry Terminal, Vĩnh Long Province, has reopened after being extended by the Ninh Kiều District Urban Management Department. The ferry's operation has been extended until the end of June of this year. To obtain a license to operate, the ferry owner will need to finish unnecessary legal processes during this time. Cần Thơ, but Mental Ferry Terminal, transport hundreds of passengers every day from Vĩnh Long Province to Cần Thơ. However, the ferry brought briefly ceased operations on May 3, 2024, which made transit for a large number of people challenging, as they had to detour across the Cần Thơ Bridge for approximately 15 kilometers to reach the inner city. Bình Thủy District Youth Union coordinated with the Youth Union Student Association of Cần Thơ University of Engineering and Technology to organize the launching ceremony of Implement Youth Projects in Boi Hung Award. On the more than 200-meter-long Nam Nha Phật Đường Cultural and Historical Relic Site campus in Bồ Hương Nghĩa Ward, 60 members painted and cleaned new flower beds and embankments. The implementation fee is nearly 20 million Viet Nam Đồng, thereby contributing to preserving and promoting the values of historical and cultural relics in the area. The Bình Thuế District Youth Union has been initiating youth projects since the beginning of the year. These projects including rearing land, planting trees, concreting roads, creating traffic lights, painting walls and electricity poles, launching troops to restore urban order, planting trees and more. The total value of these works and tasks exceeds 400 million Vietnam Dong and the organization has campaigned to award 2,901 gifts with a combined value of total 778 million Vietnam Dong. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development noted that Vietnamese fresh grapefruit that wants to be exported to the Australian market must meet the requirements of biosafety risk management measures for 19 species of harmful organisms. Those include melibug coffee powder, cocoa melibug, mulberry scale melibug, citrus red spiders, kenzawa spiders, chili thrips, onion thrips, starfruit fly, Guava fruit fly, oriental fruit fly, peach fruit fly, melon fly, pumpkin fruit fly, phone spider mite, and citrus soft rot bacteria. For plant hoppers, the production site, packing house, and growing environment must be pest free. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development must approve an efficient methodology strategy to reduce the threats posed by this plant hopper on grapefruits. Fresh grapefruit can be treated to ward off leaf hoppers by being disinfected with methane bromide. Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.